Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm back with my Cards for Men series and using this fabulous Neat and Tangled set called Woof and I'm going to be using the balloon out of the Tours Party Pooper set as well. Uh, I've got a piece of design paper, it's cut the same size as the front of my card. It's from My Mind's Eye and it's from a Necessities paper pad called Black and Grey. Pretty funky stripes and spotted designs in this paper pad, I really like it. And Nice subtle designs, perfect for a masculine card. I'm just working out where I want my balloon and the dog to be because I want it to look like the dog's floating away. And I've got some smoky grey Versafine ink and I'm only just inking up the balloon string. And I've stamped my dog image on a, just on a piece of white cardstock with some tuxedo black because I am going to be colouring him with some Copic markers. But I want him to look like he's holding the balloon so I'm just roughly sort of working out where that string's going to be and the angle that I want my dog and just re-stamping that um, Versafine grey ink so it looks like he's holding the string. Probably not my smartest move though because this um, the Versafine's not Copic friendly so <laughs> I kind of thought about it afterwards and I probably should have done it after but that's okay so all I did was just be really careful with my Copic markers around that actual Versafine ink. So I'm just going to do some simple Copic colouring today. I'll list all the colours over at my blog and I'll put the link in the YouTube description below. So I'll be right back when the colouring and the fussy cutting is all done.
So I'm using the Hello You set from Simon Says Stamp and to be honest it took me like four goes to get this <laughs> you stamped out right. I'm using some cheese puff ink from Ranger and I don't think it's the ink. It's either my stamping or this actual stamp but that's the good thing about the Misty is you can just keep stamping until you're happy with the impression. I added the word hey just uh, thought I'd use that smoky grey ink again and I did a couple of impressions of that as well because I just wanted it to be a bit darker and then I added one of the sentiments from the wolf set from the neat and tangled set and that's just with some tuxedo black ink I'm gonna adhere my panel to the front of a top fold card I'll just use my ATG gun to do that and then I've got my stamp runner to attach my little images all fussy cut ready to go could use a liquid glue here that'll work perfectly as well and then I sort of thought I was done here but um I was kind of looking at it and thinking like it really doesn't look like he's floating away so I've got this set from Annabelle Stamps it's a retired set called Scribble Scrabble and it has a few ellipses or ovals and I thought they look perfect for a shadow so I wasn't sure how dark I wanted it to be so what I'm doing here is um, stamping off once onto some scrap paper and then stamping a second time I ended up doing this like three times so I probably could have just stamped it in the smoky grey but I just wasn't sure how dark it was going to look and I didn't want to sort of have to start the whole thing over again and that's my card for today thanks for joining me I'll be back again real soon till then happy paper crafting bye